Legola. Subscribe. The Whale and the Doctor. In a faraway place, in the middle of the ocean, there was a mother whale and her baby Momo, a baby whale full of life. Momo loved running fast around her mum, and blowing big jets of water into the air. Look mum how good I am! Well done son! This is even higher! Okay, but don't overdo it. Okay, just one last time. Wait, now I'll try again. But what's the matter with you? Because I don't feel very well. I'm starting to have a bit of a stomach ache. Maybe you ate too much, but don't worry, it will soon pass. Now let's continue swimming. Having said this, the two whales walked towards their destination. As they swam, Momo began to lag further and further behind Mum. Despite the pain in his stomach, Momo held on without saying anything, hoping that in the meantime the pain would pass. The mother, at a certain point, decided to stop. Come on Momo. Or we'll be late getting to the big sardine shoals. Okay mom, I'll try. But I have an increasingly strong stomach ache. Then we absolutely have to find a way to make you heal, but I don't know how. While they were thinking about what to do, two beautiful orange fish arrived. Good morning whales, what's going on? Why are you standing in the middle of the ocean? Because my Momo has a bad stomach ache, but I don't know how to cure it. Why don't you try to have him examined by the human doctor? I don't understand. Who is this person? They say that, at the South Pole, there is a doctor who helps animals in difficulty. Okay, I'll try to find it. We hope it helps Momo. After saying goodbye to the two fish, Mother Whale and Momo headed towards the South Pole. During their long journey, they met a beautiful sea turtle, lying on the shore of an island full of colorful palm trees. After a while they felt the water starting to get cold, and they began to encounter some drifting icebergs. While swimming they came across a large iceberg with two polar bears on it. At the sight of them mother whale became very alarmed. But what are you doing here at the South Pole? You live only at the North Pole. Did I perhaps go the wrong way? No, Mother Whale, you are not going the wrong way. Due to climate change, the ice broke up earlier than expected, and my puppy and I were trapped on this iceberg. Let's hope the currents bring us back north, otherwise we'll have to live far from home forever. I really hope you make it back to the North Pole. Now we say goodbye. The doctor we are looking for is not too far away. Okay, hope you find it soon. Mother Whale and Momo continued swimming for another two days. On the third day they saw a boat near the ice of the polar ice, with a female doctor intent on examining two penguins. Good morning doctor, excuse me for disturbing you, but my little Momo is really weak and has a strong stomach ache that has been going on for several days now. I understand. I'll be right there. At that point the doctor got off the ice and, with her small boat, approached Momo. Hi Momo, I'm Dr. Emma. Will you allow me to visit you to see if I can help you with your tummy ache? Of course. Now I'm getting closer, you open your mouth as much as you can. Now I enter your belly to check better. Just as I thought. I'm starting the cleaning. That's it, I've removed everything. Unfortunately Momo felt bad because, many people, don't understand that throwing plastic into the sea creates a lot of damage to the environment. Slowly humanity is destroying all wild places. 
We too, here in the South Pole, one of the most remote places in the world, often see plastic bags or bottles floating. Next time Momo be careful what you meet on your way. Unfortunately you may also find abandoned fishing nets, which are really dangerous. Now, Momo, try your breath again. Thank you very much doctor, now everything is okay again. Moral of the story. Children, never throw plastic where it happens but use the specific bins for recycling and, moreover, help the environment whenever you have the opportunity.